Peggy 3. In this video, we're going to take a look at how the active AI affects all situations and how that extends into defending. In PES 2011, you'll see here when we stop the video that the formation of teams at times could be really haphazard. You'll see here that the space in between the defensive line and the midfield line is far too big, allowing the player to drift into the space, get a shot off. In PES 2012, we're going to pause the action here and you should be able to see that the communication between the defensive and the midfield lines is much better. So the team generally tries to hold its shape much better uh, and it results in less player bunching. 